to design a reinforced concrete beam, there are two types. The first one is singly reinforced beam, where there are only tension reinforcement. As for doubly reinforced beam, there will be tension and compression reinforcement. This diagram compares the two types of reinforced concrete beam. The singly reinforced beam ignore the contributions of the top reinforcement bar as a compression member. The care value for the singly reinforced beam is less than 0 0.167. However, during the constructions, a minimum bar size of 2T12 are to be provided in order to tie the shear link. As for the doubly reinforced beam, the compression bar takes part in resisting compressive load. The K should be greater than 0 0.167. When the compressive reinforcement bar is required, the minimum bar limb provided should be at least R8. This slide outlines the design process for singly reinforced beam. First of all, you need to check the care factor. When it is less than 0 0.167, you know that compression reinforcement bar is not required. You may proceed with determining the lever arm by using this equation. It is to be ensured that the Z is always less than 0.95D. In case that it is more than 0.95D, the Z is taken as 0.95D. Next, we determine the reinforcement bar area by using this equation. M represents the moment load. FYK represents the nominal yield strength of the splice bar. The Z you obtain from this equation. You need to ensure the provided reinforcement bar area has to be greater than the required reinforcement bar. It is so that the member does not fail in moment. Next, you will have to perform a serviceability check based on the chapter 6. The item to be checked include the AS maximum, AX minimum, maximum spacing and minimum spacing and the maximum bar size.